क्वेश्चन एट द लैटरल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ हॉलो सिलेंडर इज फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर हॉलो सिलेंडर मीन्स इट विल बी होल फ्रॉम इन साइड एंड देर विल बी अ सर्फेस आउटसाइड सिलेंडर विल बी होलो फ्रॉम इन साइड इट इज कट अलॉन्ग इट्स हाइट एंड फॉर्म अ रेक्टेंगुलर शीट ऑफ विथ थर्टी थ्री सेंटीमीटर फाइंड द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर शीट सो वेन एवर अ सिलेंडर इज मेड इफ वी कट इट एंड ओपन इट वी कैन सी अ रेक्टेंगुलर शीट ऑफ इट सो दैट मीन्स दिस लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया मीन्स इट नथिंग बट द एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर शीट इज सो फॉर दैट रेक्टेंगुलर शीट विथ इज गिवन टू अस एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दट लेंथ सो दैट देन ओनली वी कैन फाइंड आउट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दैट रेक्टेंगुलर शीट सो दिस लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ अ हॉलो सिलेंडर the uh, surface area that is given to us is nothing but area of the rectangular sheet so area of the rectangular sheet means length into breadth and breadth we have already have here it is 33 cm and length we have to find out so let the length of a rectangular sheet made from hollow cylinder be l cm again i am saying lateral surface area of a hollow cylinder when a cylinder is cut and its uh, sheet is opened up then it is nothing but a rectangular sheet so this area can be considered as the area of that rectangular sheet and we have already known here the width and now length we have to find out so what is the formula length into breadth is equal to this area that is 4224 Length we don't know we have to find out and breadth we know it is thirty three, thirty three is equal to four thousand two hundred and twenty four, so length will be equal to four thousand two hundred and twenty four divided by thirty three. Eleven threes are thirty three, eleven threes are thirty three, then nine ninety two eights are eighty eight. Then four will remain four four forty four. Then four is a forty four. Then three three ones are three three two is a six and three eight is a twenty four. So length will be equal to one hundred and twenty eight centimeter. So length we have found out. Now what is being asked is perimeter of the rectangular sheet. Now it is easily able to find perimeter of a rectangular sheet. The formula is two times length plus breadth. Two times length we have just got is one hundred and twenty eight and breadth is thirty three centimeter. So two times of one twenty eight plus one uh, thirty three is one hundred and sixty one. That will give two multiply by one hundred and sixty one will give us three hundred and twenty two centimeter. So perimeter of the rectangular sheet will be three hundred and twenty two centimeter. Question nine: A road roller takes seven hundred and fifty complete revolutions to move once over to level a road. Find the area of the road leveled if the diameter of a of a road roller is eighty four centimeter and length is one meter. A road roller means it will be of cylindrical shape. So it takes seven hundred and fifty total revolutions to complete. the level of the road we have been asked here is the find the area of the road traveled sorry road leveled how we can do it first if we find out that this is a type of a cylindrical road roller so whose length is given as uh, sorry whose diameter is given as 84 cm and length this is the length that is given that is 1 meter if we find out the surface area of this particular cylinder then we and if we multiply it with the number of revolution that has taken place that is 750 we will be able to find out the area of the road leveled like right? this many times the uh, road roller is revolved that is 750 times so curved surface area the base and the bottom um, the top and the uh, base is nothing to do with only the uh, surface is moving so we will find out the curved surface area of this road roller so before that radius we have to find out diameter is given as 84 cm 84 by 2 that is 42 cm is the radius length is given in 1 meter so we will convert 1 meter into centimeters because all other measurements are given in centimeter so it will be 100 cm now 
this 2 pi r h so uh, curved surface area we will find out because only this much portion is coming into the surface area so we have to find out the curved surface area total surface area will include both the uh, top and base but here top and base is not touching the road only the surface area is touching so we will find out the curved surface area of the road roller the formula is 2 pi r h 2 multiply by 22 by 7 multiply by 42 multiply by 100 is the height 7 6 is a 42 then 22 multiply by 2 is 44 multiply by 600 that will give us 26,400 centimeter curve surface area is there so it is centimeter square now what is asked is find the area of the road leveled now we know that total uh, revolution that uh, the road uh, the road roller takes is 750 so for one revolution it will come uh, cover 26400 centimeter square so so for 750 how much so cross multiply that is we will multiply 750 750 with so total area covered by road roller in 750 revolutions it will be multiplying 26400 centimeter square that is area covered in one revolution multiply by 700 total revolution that is 750 this is in centimeter square we will get centimeter square so to, if we multiply both the things that we will get 1980 2 3 4 so this much centimeter in centimeter square we are getting the answer total revolution when we multiply 26400 multiplied by 750 this much is the area we are getting now centimeter square it is a big number so we will convert it into meter square so according to the conversion 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and 1 meter square will be equal to 100 multiplied by 100 centimeter square 2 times it will be multiplied so 1 centimeter square is equal to 1 by 100 into 100 meter square so what uh, therefore total is 198010 yes this much is the centimeter square that we have got so if we are converting it so we will divide it with 100 multiplied by 100 so this zero will get cancelled this zero will get cancelled so this will be in meter square now that will be equal to 1980 meter square so if a large number we are getting so we have to convert it into a meter square like this a company packages its milk powder in cylindrical container whose base has a diameter of 14 cm and height is of 20 cm. Company places a label around the surface of the container as shown. Here it will be labeled like this that is it is 2 cm above base and uh, 2 cm below the top surface. So if the label is placed 2 cm from top and bottom what is the area of the label what is the area of the label that we have to find out means we have to find out the area of this label only so how it can be done first what we will do is we have to find out the height of this label because total height is given 20 it is placed in between that is it is uh, left 2 cm above and below it is left so we will find out the height of this label first so for the cylindrical container radius will be d by 2 so what is d here d is 14 14 by 2 that is equal to 7 cm radius we have found now height is given is 20 cm label is placed 2 cm away from top and bottom so total there will be this plus this 4 so height of this label will be 20 minus 2 minus 2 so uh, sorry 20 minus 2 minus 2 that means 2 from here also we will minus and 2 from here also minus or directly minus 4 also we can do that is 20 minus 4 that will give us 16 centimeter so 16 centimeter is the height of this label because we have to find out the 
area of surface area of this label only now only the surface area we have to find out it is not placed in the top or bottom so we will find out the uh, area of this label now it is cylindrical shaped so radius is known 7 cm height is known 16 cm that we have got by subtracting the uh, 2 cm from top and bottom now so curved surface area of cylindrical label so what is the formula of the curved surface area it is 2 pi r h again we are, we are finding the curved surface area because the label is only kept at the curved surface area of the cylinder not at the top and bottom if top and bottom is also included then only total surface area will come so here curved surface area means 2 pi r h so 2 multiply by 22 by 7 multiply by r is 7 and h is 16 so 7 and 7 will get cancelled 2 multiplied by 22 is 44 44 multiplied by 16 that will give us 704 and it is curved surface area so it will come in centimeter square so curved surface area of the label will be 704 centimeter square